Hi everyone, this is Nikhil Naka and I teach electrical engineering. Now in this video, I just want to discuss not any technical things but a very important issue that has put the entire world on red alert. So that is something called as the coronavirus. So I would like to discuss about some little technical aspects about this coronavirus and what we can do in order to be safe from this coronavirus. So basically we are telling it is a coronavirus, coronavirus, but basically it is a type of coronavirus. It is a part of a coronavirus family. So there is a group of viruses called as coronavirus family. And in this coronavirus family, one of the type of virus is what called as uh, by the World Health Organization 2019 NCOV. So this is the technical name of the coronavirus. So the origin for this particular virus, that means where it had started to spread or got detected initially is at the Wuhan city of the China. In the central China, there is a city called as Wuhan. There it was detected in the late, uh, in the endings of, uh, you know, near the new year in 2019. Okay. So when you talk about the coronavirus, in the family of this coronavirus, earlier we have seen two outbreaks like the same what is happening today in the world. So one was happened in 2002. So this is called as SARS, which means severe acute respiratory syndrome. So this particular virus attack is also a form of or it is a part of the coronavirus family. And it was a very severe and it has shaked the world at that point of time very severely. And again, in the same coronavirus family, there is another type of uh, outbreak, which is called as MERS, which means Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. See, if you observe these both things, one thing is common, RS, RS, Respiratory Syndrome. That means any virus of the corona family will basically attack, will attack what? The respiratory system of the human body. And one thing you have to keep in mind, not just uh, this uh, coronavirus, if anything is attacking respiratory, uh, respiratory system of the human body means, that means your immune system is weak. When your immune system is weak, first, which is more probable to get more affected is the respiratory system, our respiratory system. So always, if you want to get rid of this uh, virus, that means, see, prevention is better than curing, isn't it? So as of now, there is no cure discovered for this particular virus because it is a new type. The formula is new. So the US government is working very harder and uh, it is trying to develop the uh, uh, antidote for this particular virus because this is not a bacteria to have a antibiotic but rather it is a virus so viral treatment is something different so it requires some drugs and it is uh, you know under uh, they're still researching and we, we 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 don't even understand how this basically this virus is working unless and until you have got more data so we are we are keep on getting a lot of data and more than 2000 people throughout the world more than 3000 i guess are detected with this particular uh, uh, virus and even in India also around 10 to 15 cases have been reported in various cities. Understood? So as I was telling this corona virus basically attacks the respiratory system. So whenever it attacks respiratory systems, what are the symptoms that you are going to get? So now the issue is about symptoms. Now the symptoms that we will generally see is you will be getting cold. Understood? Cold. Dry cough. You know, frequently you keep on coughing. It is just dry. Sore throat, okay. Your throat is also very sore. You can't, uh, you know, talk properly. Or when you are talking, you get some pain in the throat, and you will may also suffer from fever and body ache, body pains, basically. So when this virus keeps on progressing, after these symptoms, it will eventually lead to what called as the pneumonia, very severe breathing problem. It you will feel very difficult even to take breath. And pneumonia is a very Severe problem related to lungs or respiratory systems. As it uh, uh, as it keeps on progressing, next step is it leads to kidney failure. And once kidney is failed, it ultimately leads to death. So, and this process of transiting from the symptom stage to pneumonia to kidney failure to death happens very fast. So, that is the very dangerous aspect about this particular virus. So, as of now, uh, where this particular virus has been detected means basically uh, people who have been to uh, China or have an history of visiting China have uh, actually got detected with this virus. Even in the cases that are observed in India, uh, uh, we have checked the you know background of some people and it was confirmed that these people recently went to China and came back. So that thing you can see in almost all the newspapers. Okay, So 
now what can we do so what is the key issue that we can maintain in order to keep ourselves safe from this virus of course we we hope that it does not spread to india uh, as it is spread in china right, right now but we must be on the safe side and it is always advisable to be clean so cleanliness is the main key in order to you know keep this virus away cleanliness so what are the different types of uh, you know techniques that are the care precautions that we must take according to the recommendations of the world health organization means first thing is contact with animals see one thing you have to keep in mind is the vector for this particular virus what do you mean by vector vector is something uh, is some object which will carry this virus and it will help in transmitting so basically this virus which is there it is a contagious contagious means what it will spread from one person to other it will spread from one host to other host okay so the vector that means the medium by which this can transmit from one place to other place is by humans or animals even goats bats flies mosquitoes you know rabbits cats all this humans everybody comes under the you know a vector for this particular virus so very very importantly if you see somebody is having symptoms of this cold dry cough you must be you know try to avoid them means keep away from them that doesn't mean that you are completely going to abandon them but uh, make some precautions like putting some face mask like that and be careful wear some gloves do not touch any liquids coming out of them like that you have to take care understood because that may again enter with you next contact with animals so as i was telling you the vector one of the vector is even animals whenever you are contacting your animals let us say you are uh, you are you are getting close to your pet animals or something else you get close to any animal try to uh, you know be precautionate like i was telling wear some mask gloves and try to contact with them in a safe manner understood and next we, uh, we generally eat non vegetarian food isn't it meat so if you are going to eat any non vegetarian food definitely make sure that it is cooked well properly boiled properly cooked half cooked food not just meat any food which is half cooked will actually uh, help you to get more chances of getting infected to this virus not just this virus any other uh, abnormality in your body understood next hand wash main key issue is washing your hands properly wash with proper sterilizers uh, you know you got some uh, antiseptic hand wash lotions lot of things are there in the medical shops okay you can use them and alcoholic based hand washes also so this this will be very much helpful okay and the next thing is as i was telling you no contact with cold infected people and uh, cover while coughing for example you are also having some cough or cold try to cover your you know your face or your mouth or your nose while the bodily fluids are excreting out or coming out okay and another most important thing most important thing apart from this is to treat the touching surfaces with uh, disinfectants what do you mean this see the surfaces in our day to day life you that you generally touch what are the generally you you will be touching which objects you will be generally touching in your life in your day to day work first and foremost thing is touch screen mobiles so make sure you regularly clean your screen understood using some disinfectant or any kind of uh, alcoholic based lotion Uh, neatly so that it doesn't get into 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 the circuit board and damage your mobile phone but rather clean the screen and the body of your mobile phone with that alcoholic based solution understood and not just mobiles even door handles in your houses or in your vehicles or regularly you'll be touching some uh, pens or keyboards of your computer or laptop laptop surfaces so where basically your hand keeps on touching in a you know in a regular Uh, day in a regular day so those surfaces need to be cleaned first using alcoholic or antiseptic solutions or antibiotic solutions or such kind of solutions understood so when you talk about disinfectant generally you see uh, people may find difficult going to get in uh, med- medical shops and find right disinfectant but there is another solution a uh, home based solution i should say to you know make a home based disinfectant solution also basically i was telling you to clean the touching surfaces like mobile phone screens and all isn't it so what you can do is you require two things that is one tablespoon of bleaching powder 
and 1 liter of water. So if you take 1 tablespoon of bleaching powder and mix it with 1 liter of water, that solution which you are going to obtain is the best disinfectant. It can kill almost any bacteria and it can control any virus. Understood? So try to clean your you know doorknobs, your bathroom doors, your you know doors in your houses, your keyboards on your computer laptops, your mobile phone screens like this and uh, try to maintain the touching surfaces sterile and clean. Understood? So these are the steps that you may take in order to keep yourself safe from this particular virus. I hope you found this video helpful and I request you to share this video with your friends and family and make sure that you alert them what is this virus about and uh, what are the background of this virus and what can we do in order to be safe from this virus. Okay. Thank you for watching and stay safe.